So I read a review. I don't remember where it was, but the it was someone who liked part six, but was trying to explain why people don't like part six. And he was saying that like the stands are too complex in part six where like they can't visually show it in the anime very well or something. And I was like, no, kind of. But there's like also so much more to it than that. <laughs> like, like, I don't know, like the concepts <laughs> aren't bad i'm trying to think they're not that bad yeah it's just i don't know it's like it's like it's not even the part six stands are complicated is that they have rules that they establish really early on and then those rules those rules just do not conform during like really pivotal yeah. moments of the fight or it, like anything is complicated because you're not setting any precedence you're just yeah. going with whatever makes it more interesting yeah i i do think that especially limp biscuit stand was probably pretty complex but they definitely should have done it a lot better and it was definitely not that hard to do better i i feel like a lot of the stands in the first part were easy enough to be like hey if we put like three brain cells into this idea <laughs> then we could make it work but like they didn't so we're off lads Oh shit, it's time. You didn't even post the Zoom call, bro. What? You haven't even posted the Zoom call, I don't think, did you? Are you oh, not yeah, in? Oh yeah, you did. Holy you did. Fuck, Never mind. Are you not in? No. <laughs> Yo. I didn't know I didn't know you posted it. We just get like twenty minutes into the episode and quite like guys, <laughs> just what, like, what are we doing? Starting? What if one person were able to possess several more, or perhaps even thousands more souls simultaneously? What do you think such a person has the power to see? Is this like some bloodborne shit? What will shit? that person's future hold? And how soon yeah. will it come to pass? The blessed blood. Why souls though? Souls well, is such a hard concept to think about. I have about. absolutely no idea. Is My question is, how the fuck did he get that bone when Dio disintegrate into nothingness? Dio. Oh. This is the one bone of his that remains. The rest became dust and scattered like ashes on the wind no longer of this world. Believe me, I understand that, but... Don't worry, because I've already done it. Huh? That's right. I've already finished. You're welcome. What? Huh? I, th I think whatever he did to the bone, like, made it fucking corrosive or something. Like, he can't fucking hold it anymore. So the premise is actually kind of cool. If you have someone with the power... Wait... Which, uh, the premise is cool, but it makes no sense. If you have, why why is a single is bone of Dio still it? even there? He so I thought the idea was he can bring dead things back to life as a zombie corpse, and they're invisible. So basically, Poochie goes, "Okay, you can do that." Well, Dio's dead, and I have a piece of his bone. So mm -hmm. surely you can do something here. Maybe the bone's extra powerful, so you don't need the whole corpse, and. The the obvious thing you'd go is, okay, something's going to go wrong here because every other corpse you've had, like, all of the components necessary to finish it and get it done. So, something's going to fuck up here, but I don't know if Poochie's in the right attacking him when he could have easily thought, yeah, I only have, like, part of his left arm. Poochie's being an idiot for attacking him here. Yo, but if this works, if this works, boys, we're looking at an invisible zombie vampire Dio. <laughs> All right, Christ. that'd be fucking cracked. Asking you where his bone went, you best answer me. Uh, I swear I don't know. Uh, I mean, are we sure it's really Dio's? Uh, uh, That's a great question. <sighs> that that would make more sense if it wasn't Dio's. I can't get it's actually King Crimson. It's just not strong enough. It's <laughs> bizarre to imagine it would move around on its own, but... Oh, yes, it's here somewhere. I can sense it. I can actually feel it moving within the walls of this room. Find it! Start looking right now! No, not yet. Wait a minute. At least he can oh, sense maximum. bone movement. <laughs> This can only mean that I was right all Dude, along. why does he have an affinity the for walls? Kept tantalizing me with does in fact exist. Wait, and yeah, that's a good point. Why does he have an affinity for continue, walls? But let's suspend it for now. Uh, Poochie might have said something really, really stupid just now. This can only mean that I was right all along. That the way to heaven he kept tantalizing me with does in fact exist. And this proves it. 
I'm having a hard time processing. Maybe because the bone. I can't even is like moving. come up with why that's wrong, but I know it is. No, well. Well, I'm assuming he's saying it because the bone had like a reaction. You know, like it's if it was just a normal fucking bone, it would just not do anything. You know what I mean? So I think Poochie's just assuming. Oh, because Dio's bone just corroded through my hand. Like maybe that means something. That's my guess. We must let it decide its own course. I'll observe it first, then combine it with Jotaro Kujo's memories for everyone to find out the real truth once and for all! Okay, so... <laughs> he this... has a disc in the bone? Excuse me. <laughs> See, what? Boneless <laughs> CD. He gave the bone a stand. Um, so, took... Or the bone is the stand. He the bo thinks bone is the stand. combining Jotaro's Di or putting the same Jotaro disc with the bone disc will create some super Dio Cujo. The amount of leaps of faith. He is a Hold priest. On. Hold on, I need to. I need to hear this. Suspend it for now. It's quite obvious. We must let it decide its own course. I'll okay, let it decide its own course. The bone, the fucking object that is not alive. He's combining. A bone with memories to allow the truth to be revealed. The truth that actually bones have feelings just like we do. Bone lives matter. That's more <laughs> logical than whatever the fuck he just said was obvious. <laughs> I can feel the bone's presence at the maximum security disciplinary wing right as we speak. It seems someone might have picked it up though. <laughs> What you saw were Sports Maximum's memories that Aramis found by chance. Of course, Jolene's seen this too. What? <laughs> exactly. What? Our heroines found the actual corpse, the sewage-ridden, piped corpse of Limp yep. Biscuit, uh... and got his disc. And they just threw, like, the truckload of exposition to let us know that that flashback that we were discussing about how the hell this fits in in the timeline was fucking baseball kid playing it in his head because that's something you can do and also something that Jolene and Ermes have already done so that everyone can know about this stupid bone and no one goes, what bone? Okay. It feels weird that they can just like, they're basically using Poochie's and at that point which is weird to think about because it's like they shouldn't even be able to interact with, with the discs yeah that shouldn't even saying. work dang like somebody else should like ff shouldn't be able to just be like okay now you have this stand like that just feels weird you know or like you have this information or whatever it, I don't know. It feels like something that only Poochie should be able to control but my issue is that part 6 it consistently has just done exposition rather than showing us them doing these things. It's like, oh, we found the disc. We found his body in the sewage somehow. Here, okay, here you go. Now we, now we can move the plot along. He's like just a tracker for the bone now. But that was, I don't fucking know because he has to be, he has to be like putting out like a recon for the bone, and even his disc. Well, he does said he that. could sense it. Yeah, he did. Uh, but if he's dead, how is that going to help at all? How can he be a tracker if he's dead? No, no, no. His disc, now it, you put it in your head and you fucking get the coordinates for the bone. Oh, okay. Well, that's... Well, that doesn't make any sense because it's a sense, not a thought. The disciplinary wing is where she's going. And she's, I assume, in the female wing normally. Do you think the only way she could get there is if she, she uh, fuck the only way she could get there is if she got captured because obviously it's like probably like the hardest place to get into in the prison I would imagine. It looks yeah. You see, it's like I told you, Anastasia's not worth it. That guy will never cooperate, no matter what. Oh, that's the guy. Okay. How come? It's because I'll do anything if you'll help us. In fact, his full name is. Narciso Anastasia. Don't know what might have triggered it, but since he was a child, he's had one bizarre habit. No, it's not so much a habit as it is a syndrome. I'm loving how Emporio is fulfilling the name I've given for him, Exposition Dump, where he 
can just tell me everything about a character without the character themselves having to portray any sort of subtle characterization or personality traits. When he opened the door, he found her in bed with another man. Fugo? I don't like <laughs> There's a pretty good chance my first shot will go way wide. Where Why? am I even supposed to aim? He's not looking at you. I have to go in. Where are you supposed to aim? Shot. He's not looking Otherwise, at you. He won't even acknowledge me, much less obey me. Oh. Nervous, but My first shot is going to be wide. <laughs> From two okay. feet away. I'll help you. If you really want. Why does he have She's footprints on his bone, chest? <laughs> He's a Highway movie. Star fan, obviously. Then I'll help find that too. <laughs> Why are you caring so much all of a sudden? Wait. I don't know, but I guess he can just leave. But, but you... Honestly, I've come to like her. Everything about her from my first view. You haven't even For interact example, with her! To to go to He's the first answer. person that likes her, dude. She's quite admirable. But he doesn't know anything honest. about her. Uh, bro. If I keep her safe through this, then I plan on making her my bride. That's the condition. What the fuck? What? Why? <laughs> Am I going insane here? He wants to yes, marry Joel. I feel like show. I'm going insane. Look at that run. Oh, let's see it. Does it come apart? Ah, oh, because he is a footstep person. That makes sense. What did he? What did he even do? It's gonna fall apart, I think. Oh, I get it. Oh, so he kicks something, and then when so someone interacts with it, it the, the force of the kick comes back through. I think. Is it Newton's third law, but remote? I guess. Like if I punch also, a wall, I can. Wait, look at those! Look at those stats, bro. Oh, I missed. Oh my the god! Give us your blessing. I don't know what stand that was, by the way. No, but the stand. The stats stand in this. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck is this? Guccio? Guccio. Oh god. His stand is ass too. It's so <laughs> bad. It's so bad. I think that's literally the worst hey, stand I've ever seen. Just out of all the ones you've ever come across. <laughs> <laughs> you plays um, with replica ships. <laughs> they're playing they're playing extreme battleship right now. This is some planet like remembering his time with fucking Jonathan. <laughs> oh my god, you're right. It's just the ship. That's funny as fuck. Dude, this is like the best scene I've seen so far. This makes me happy. Like, I don't know why. Like, thank you, Dio, for liking replica ships of experiences you've had in the past. What was the weakest stand power? I'd love to know. It doesn't matter whether oh, it's one that maybe that's the stand stack guy. The world. And a chef would feel like a chef, see? That's what it means to live truly. Shout out to Pearl Jam. The same goes for stands. Mm -hmm. It was the year 1982. In the Lorraine region of France, a group of six hikers met with disaster. All six of This is like some of the most interesting shit this show's done. Hmm? Talking They're about... just explaining the weakest. <laughs> no, like, I mean, like, Dio talking about why he made the stands and shit like that. Mm -hmm. Shout out to the dude in green and brown looking like Shaggy. Dude, that was the first thing I thought <laughs> of, too. <dude. laughs> After the recon team examined the area... Oh, it actually is a Scooby-Doo gang. They found evidence of brutal <laughs> combat. Yes, it's an unusable stand. It can't distinguish between enemies and allies. If there's infighting among your subordinates, your organization falls apart. Well, these mushrooms... Okay, so yeah, so she still is. Not bad, That's smart. What is she doing? Effie 30536. It's time for your shower. Damn. Come on, man. All I got on me right now is fifteen dollars. How about a discount? Yeah. Sorry, can't. <laughs> yeah. No shit. Anyway, now I just have to feel around with my thread and hope I find the bone. I'll bet you the fifteen dollars from early. <laughs> You got a deal. Oh, Seriously. would you look at a perfect you even have the cash? <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, convenience okay, doesn't describe it. Everyone's gonna get driven mad in this jail cell and there's gonna be like a prison break and everyone's gonna start fighting and 
somehow they'll find the bone. I've got nothing else to change into unless I go back to the main building. Hey, what the hell was that for? Wait, wait, wait. Well, that was way wait, faster. Wait, 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 wait. Bro, so this has to be set up, right? Like, fucking Poochie was like, yo, just do this, right? Because it, it, I don't know. Like, they need the ground to be wet, so they're just bringing a giant fucking hose around. It's and, like, spraying time. everywhere. At least we don't know that Jorno and Okuyasu really fell off after part one. <laughs> <laughs> I can see every point of power in that rip. Like, every single muscle is a gorgeous work of art. It's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, I am a golden god. Yeah! Wait. Is this actually a stand attack? You want to know what's funny? The fact that she goes, oh. this is a stand attack is like some of the best intuition she's had in the show because <laughs> these two dudes just fighting it out randomly over like, like it could have been anything. Like you could have called his mom ugly and they could have been like, oh, you bitch. And then they fight. Her going, is this a stand is the exposition of the show being like, hey guys, have you figured it out yet? Which is so weird because they've showed it already. Which is what, which just begs the question: Why have her say the stupid line, anyways? But what I'm thinking about is the fact that her making that jump of conclusion is good because she should be thinking that for like literally everything. Like whenever something weird happens, she has to go, "Okay, is there a stand going on right now?" Like I have to be extra careful. She also noticed the um, yellow light coming off of them, which could have indicated something else as well. Fair Pro enough. Something that's not very natural Am I, i'm probably giving the show too much credit she probably saw some <laughs> of fucking stand on the ground mm -hmm. but there's no doubt they've read through maximum's memories and this is a rather large problem to fix this i've sent four stand users to the discipline cell building however if jolene cujo has found her way to the discipline cell in pursuit of dio's priceless bones how would pucci know to send the stand users before he found out that Jolene was in the security block. This scene is literally exposition. Poochie has sent people. Poochie knows that all of the memory happened. So Poochie is now going to sit in his desk and think about everything he just did. Because we can't actually watch him do any actions. We can't see him go, holy fuck, they figured that stuff out. He's just, oh my god, that's right. That He didn't figure anything out. Limp Biscuit just never showed back up. So... How would he have ever Clearly known to send people out? So, I, it's going <laughs> off of so many assumptions. It's like, oh, I'm assuming that because he's taken so long, he's dead. And if he's dead, I assume that Jolene has seen the memories. And if Jolene has seen the memories, I assume she would go to the maximum security uh, discipline wing. And, like, it's just so many assumptions instead of making stupid assumptions wouldn't it be smart for you know the prison that he fucking runs to have people like in many spots have access to security cameras and all this shit to actually yeah. not be able to make an assumption but instead he just uses none of his resources whatsoever and just sits there and debates with himself on what is currently happening like, why is he sending out people instead of, like, yeah, I, I know Jimmy is the guard at the the female ward, so if Jimmy sees anything suspicious with his fucking Sharingan eyes, then perfect. That's the, it, it solves so many things because it makes Poochie competent, and it makes the people in their roles have abilities that make sense. So if you have, like, a, a security guard who checks people's clothing, he has, like, x-ray vision that like makes it so that you can see bombs and guns and stuff like that would all be really cool in context stuff that makes sense as to why all this is happening but no fuck it we get electric water madman <laughs> this i've sent four stand users to the discipline why cell four building. however why yeah why 30? four if the bone is so important Jimmy wouldn't you be Kujo like make, sending as many as deal had like Dio's nine or ten oh god why four Hang on, is he letting them Can out? we talk about how he keeps picking prisoners <laughs> to make into statues? Yo, <laughs> what is this? Hi, man. What the fuck? 
<laughs> what is this? What is this? Like, Wait, that's way more than four. Do, well, I, don't I don't know, know if what's... all of them are stand users. They're oh, just... they just, they're all look, they, they all look like stand, stand user users. Ru roulette. Like, they're like, oh, which Poochie, one's at the four? Poochie went to all the fucking wings. Like, okay, which one looks the most like a stand user? All right, you're coming with me. Welcome to Fight Club! Oh my god. <laughs> That, like, unironically wasn't the worst thing they could have done. Like, it's still fucking terrible. I've sent four Sorry. stand users. I actually didn't mind Dio talking about him creating stands. It's like, it's, um, what is it called? It's lampshading because, hey, Dio, how'd you do all that stuff? Is what Poochie would ask because he'd want to be able to make stands too. That's cool and all. The good news is that wasn't that bad. That was... An hour. Ben, the second episode.